we're all set up here. Steve says, episode number 28. Lost my Herbalife jug today, so we're drinking out of the old school pickle jar. You know, I gotta drink that Herbalife jug before we come in. Coming, out of, coming from the cave today, so we're using the pickle jar for our Herbalife drink. Who's here with us? Margo, Margo's here watching with us. For some reason this doesn't show me the comments or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this is episode number 28. Steve says, basically today is gonna be kind of a Marine Corps type episode. We're gonna, we're gonna be, it's in remembrance of September 11th, we're gonna learn what valuable lessons we can all learn from the Marines. No matter, no matter what your passion, your dreams, your goals, or how you, you know, if you think and act and operate like a Marine, you're guaranteed victory. So today we're gonna to explore how you can do that, how we can look at the, the mindset of a Marine, basically, which is some of the secrets to how I operate and to the way I go about my day and do things, just live my life in general, is basically all based off Marine Corps mindset, philosophy, and a way of life. And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. So yes, yesterday I took the two little freak kids to the 9-11 ceremony at Memorial Park in Nyack. You know, they knew it was a very serious event and they were in a position of attention most of the time, standing there as if they were reporting in. You know, there was, there was someone singing the national anthem. There were speeches remembering some of our local lost veterans and police and firefighters from September 11th. And the Nyack, Nyack chapter of American Legion, which I belong to, was, was the color guard and performed and they dedicated like the loyal true professionals that they are. There, were, there was a live ammo 21 gun salute. And if that shit doesn't get your, your fucking heart pumping and your blood fucking flowing, then and, and if that doesn't give you a sense of never forgetting and loyalty, and if it doesn't give you the chills and a sense of pure fucking pride, and you know, then you're not a, you're not a freaking American. You're not even a fucking human if it doesn't do that for you. So this led me to the, the obvious topic for today's episode of Steve Says, which it, it really this one should be titled the Marine says, not Steve says, because this is Marine Corps mindset, Marine Corps philosophy is what we're getting into, you know, by how we can all use this Marine Corps type mindset to make ourselves better every day by adapting and overcoming, getting our shit together, trusting the process, not acting like a little bitch, not making excuses, just like the United States Marines. We know all those things. That's what we go over all, all the time. We're going to go into detail about how, the, how Marines actually would do it. You know, the movies have it all fucking wrong. You see all the time that yes sir, yes or whatever, whatever the hell they're doing that sir, yes sir shit you see in the movies. That's not the way it is in the Marine Corps at all. Of course we have to address our drill instructors and officers and you know some of the superiors as sir. But when the actual command is given, there is no, no fucking sir, yes sir and all that crap. Anyone that's not a Marine that's going to cheat can tell me what what is, how would we respond and acknowledge and order in the Marine Corps when we're told to do something or told to act or move or go do this, take out, go take out this task. Can someone tell me the one single word we would use to acknowledge that command? Can anyone tell me that word? Someone that's not a Marine, don't cheat. One single word. Can someone give me what it is? You got a couple seconds. See if you can figure out what that word is. We're told to do something. This is how we respond. It's not, yes, sir. It's not, sir, yes, sir, and all that bullshit you see in the Marines. There is one word that acknowledges we understand the task and we're going to go and do what we have to do to make it happen. Can anyone tell me what that word is? Give me two seconds. No one, anyone can take a guess? I just saw another Marine pop in there. Diane, don't cheat, or whatever. You could answer it now because no one else is answering it. What's the one word that we acknowledge any command? No, it is not hoorah. It's hoorah, not hoorah. Not fucking LOL. Not I, sir. No. That's if you're just having a conversation. You're giving, you're told, Go do this, take this, put it over there, put this over there, and blow that shit up. There is one command throughout boot camp. You say this word 20,000 fucking times per day in Marine Corps boot camp. At least we did. Nowadays, who knows what they say. Now maybe they say Mickey Mouse. I don't fucking know, but I doubt it. But what is the one single word? Four letters. Four letter word. Who can tell me what that four letter word is? That we respond to, to acknowledge every command. We got to keep it moving. You got three seconds, two seconds. One word I said, that on the way, sir, that on the way, sir, is four words. Four letter word, not four words. That's, you know, that's a jarhead right there that, that I say four letter word and she, she gives me four words. 
the, the, the way to acknowledge your commands, they gave us all throughout boot camp. They tell you, Echo, go over there, put this over there, set that up here, go do it now. Your command, your acknowledgement to that command, that you understand it and that you're going to go do no matter what you have to do to make it happen, was kill. Kill was the, the acknowledgement to the command that they gave you. And that's what we would be saying all day. Now, everything today will be a result of what I've learned and what was instilled in me in the Marine Corps in honor of September 11th, which was just yesterday. Sure, they train us to be relentless, savage, freaking killers. But unfortunately, today's episode will not be teaching you how to kill, but it will cover what Marines are also trained in above and beyond everything else, and that is a superior mindset. They also train us the high, highest levels of discipline and morals and personal development. And yeah, it was 20 years ago. Same for me. So while I was preparing for this broadcast today, this just happened. This is a true story that just happened a couple of minutes ago. It's the wrong time for someone to interrupt me when I was preparing for this. This is get you know this this kind of stuff gives me the chills. This kind of shit gets me worked the fuck up more than the usual shit gets me worked up, which is already a lot. So that's a pretty bad time for someone to be interrupting me. So I'm I'm preparing for this just an hour ago, half hour ago. I'm sitting in my dungeon in the freaking cave with the little with the little girl, and you know I needed to get something out of my car. So I open up, I had to take something out of my car into the garage. So the garage is open. I see this orange and rocking guy, or a supposed orange and rocking guy. I don't know if you guys have seen or heard some of those orange and rocking people knocking on people's doors saying they got to get to their basement at like 10 p.m. at night to read their meters. I don't trust any motherfuckers anyway, so I, whatever. So I see this orange and rocking guy. He pops up out from the side of my cave from like the side of a neighbor's, a neighbor's house. And he pops up and he's asking me if he could check the meters in my basement. And my garage door is wide open right there leading right into the house. And I'm standing there. He's right there. Pops right up from the side of the house. I'm like, what is this motherfucker doing? So I'm like, no, I'm busy. He's like, well, we need to read it. I said, no, I am busy. I've got some things going on. You cannot come into the house. No. So I go inside. I close the garage. Make sure the little girl's okay. Everything's good. All right. I see this guy go next door to, to some other cave, the neighbor's house. And, you know, first of all, I don't like fucking people. I definitely don't want you in my fucking cave. And plus... I don't know you. I don't definitely don't trust you. So less than five minutes later, listen to this shit. This gets even better. This is a true story. This wasn't even planned for today. This happened while I was planning. It was the wrong time for this person to interrupt me or these two people. So less than five minutes later, a different orange and Rockland utility guy starts not just knocking on the door. I'm talking about pounding on the door like he's uh, uh, like a, coming in with a search warrant or some shit. Pounding on the door, clacking on the damn door. And, you know, I'm over there busy, a little sentimental, writing about this Marine Corps stuff and writing about kill and writing and, and, and talking about this September 11th ceremony that we, I just took the kids to yesterday. And this guy's standing outside, banging the hell out of the door like it's ready to fucking knock it over. Then he's kind of backing up and looking up into windows. And the little girl hears all this shit. She peeks out the window. Usually she knows not to peek out the window and stuff like that happens, but she peeks out the window like, why is this not guy not going away? He's kind of standing on the front lawn, standing around the house. Then he gets on the phone. I hear him talking to someone saying, yeah, some a little girl's head just popped up in the window. I'm like, this motherfucker's got to be kidding. So he's sitting there for at least like five minutes and gets on the phone telling someone that he just sees this little, girl, this little girl's head pop up at the window and... So I'm, I'm checking out, looking around, checking, to see what's going on, making sure there's no one else on other sides of the house or whatever. This is a true story. It just happened a couple of fucking minutes ago. And so listen, it gets even better. I'm sitting there. I tell her to get away from the window. She, she goes over and all the fucking power cuts out in the house. Just our house. I don't know if it's just our house, but all the fucking power goes out while this guy's sitting there on the phone, right? So... I'm like, this motherfucker picked the wrong house on the wrong fucking, the exact wrong fucking time when I'm sitting here thinking about the Marine Corps mentality and the mindset and the fucking command of kill. This motherfucker is over there banging on my door, peering up into windows, walking around the side of the house, creeping up on me like a fucking creep. And so I tell the little girl, I tell her, and she knows what this means. She knows exactly what this means. I say, initiate the doomsday protocol. All I got to do is say doomsday. She knows what that means. She fucking goes and does what she needs to do when I tell her doomsday. She knows. She has she's three years old, but she knows what to do when shit goes, what shit looks like it's about to go wrong or go right, however to be looking at it. So she acts immediately. I do what I have to do, prepare how I need to prepare, and I approach a side a side little door so I could flank this motherfucker, and he must have heard the ch because 
He abruptly then left the cave and the surrounding area, and he hasn't been back soon. I call. I was trying to call up then the Orange and Rockland after, but this motherfucker picked the wrong time to be creeping on someone's house. You're looking to read some meter. You don't stay out someone's house for 10 fucking minutes, looking in their window, calling people, telling them about some kids you see in the fucking window. That shit almost ended real bad for you. Wrong time to be creeping up on someone's house. Anyway, thought I would just share a little story for you. So, back to our Marine Corps stuff. Back to our Marine Corps training. And the Marine Corps values towards victory. The, the principles and values that are, are instilled and embedded in each Marine are like the building blocks for making the right decisions at the right time, both on the battlefield and off the battlefield. And this is, you know, some of this stuff is from, you know, d directly from the Marine Corps. You know, we, and then I'm going to relate it to how it can relate to you in your regular life. We usually know what the right thing to do is in the office, at home, in the gym. Our gut, that natural instinct that is almost always right. You know you shouldn't be eating that fucking cheesecake and you're trying to lose weight. You know you shouldn't be slacking off at work when your ass is, you know, ready to get fucking fired. Or even if you're on your own business and you know you ain't, can't even pay the fucking bills and you're just sitting around watching fucking Netflix. When, once you have the, the values to do the right thing, everything will start to fall into place. So, you know, what, what we do, what Marines, the way Marines do, you know, they're America's, literally America's crisis response force. They are the force... On a small scale, when some creep is knocking on your door, peeking in your window, calling someone and cutting out the electricity in your house, the Marine Corps are the ones that are going to react and respond to that with, with devastating violence and force. The Marines are trained, structured, and equipped to do one thing, and that's to win battles, to become out, come victorious in battles. Yeah, the power went back up. It went out for like 30 seconds, but that's all. It, it didn't matter. After they clicked off, bam. It was, it was doomsday protocol. The second those lights went out, I was like... This motherfucker picked the wrong time. I, but I was also like, I've been waiting for this for a long time myself. Have a little fun. Anyway, if you train yourself mentally and physically the way Marines do and take care of yourself, build the right daily habits and rituals and structure your day, you'll be putting all the pieces into place and planting all the seeds and you'll be equipping yourself for victory and success and total motherfucking domination just like the Marines. Marines are fighting to win. When, when they're met with adversity, every Marine is going to over-challenge the, you know, overpowers the challenges with the per perseverance to win the battles and come out victorious. We all know about this. We talk about this all the time. Adapt and overcome. No matter what bullshit comes your way, no matter how many fucked up shit balls life throws at you at once at the same time, and you're like, it just can't get any worse. No matter how many uphill, you know, how uphill the battle seems, or how 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 fucking hard the struggle feels, Marines don't quit, and neither do you. You suck it up. You figure it out. You make shit happen. You turn a negative into a positive by adapting and overcoming. That's how you do it. So, there's a word here I'm looking for. There's actually going to be three words I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure some of you are going to know them. My Marines definitely going to know them. But let's see if anyone else can know these. There's three words. Let's start with the first one. I'll give you a, some hints. This one, first word means adherence to what is, you know, right or the conventional standard of conduct, of privilege. That's what it means. Pretty much, I'll give you a, some other words. Attention, celebration, confidence, credit, dignity. Distinction, esteem, faith, fame, glory, praise, prestige. What's the word I'm looking for? Give me a word. Give me a word I'm looking for. Recognition, reputation, tribute, trust. These are all words similar to the word I'm looking for, but I'm looking for one main word that all those fall into, the category all those fall into. Protocol, no. Praise, glory, fame, distinction, dignity, confidence, attention. Give me a word. Give me a word. It's leading to three words. Three words that actually go in order. My Marine Corps people will know what I'm talking about, but maybe some of you civilians might not. Who's got it? Who's got my word? Who's got my word? You got like three seconds. I'll give you some more. It means higher respect. Esteem is what it means. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Someone else has it? Someone else has it? Loyalty? No, but that's a good one. It's close. High respect, esteem, adherence to what is right. Or to a conventional standard of conduct. No, this is one of the Marine Corps values. It's these are called the core values. Which, if you're a Marine, don't cheat. Because if I once I give that hint, you know what it is. There are three core values. There's a Marine cheating. Look at that. Honor. Honor is our word. Honor is the word I'm looking for. So honor. Not not only having honor for the people around you that are there to help you, like the mentors, like I talked about last week. But any victory, success, or goal starts with honoring your freaking self. Once, once you have that self-esteem, the dignity, and giving yourself the fucking praise and tribute, like I was just talking about, and operate with self-confidence, then you can effectively 
honor the people around you. So if honor is our first word, what's our second word? Same person, don't say it. Same person, don't say it. What is our second word? Oh, Steve Owen. Oh, we got two fees going at the same time. Steve Owen said honor down here. I didn't even see that one. My brother said honor up here. Steve Owen said honor down here. I don't know who said it first, but what's my second word? Anyone knows my second word? It goes right with it. It goes right with it. There's three of them. There's three Marine Corps Marine, uh, core values. There it is. Courage. Yeah, you Googled that shit. Courage is the next one. The ability to do something that, that frightens you. The strength in the face of pain or grief. This is courage. This is stuff that these are Marine Corps, these are core values for the Marine Corps, but you, you could apply this stuff to anywhere in your life, in your business, in your family, in your freaking fitness journey, anywhere. This is, you know, the, the meaning of courage is, you know, boldness, braveness, bravery, being daring, determination, endurance, fearlessness, fortitude. These, these are what courage is. You know, having a spirit, a spunk, tenacity, and valor. That is what courage, courage, courage is the ability you know, like I said, to do something that frightens you. You know, strength in the face of pain or grief. Whatever, whatever your dreams, your goals, shit isn't going to be easy. You need to have the courage to accept and face that ine inevitable fucking adversity that is sure to hammer you down on your quest to victory and domination. If it was easy, everyone would be on top of the fucking mountain. That mountain looks insurmountable, in-fucking possible to climb. You will never make it to the top, but only the freaks with enough courage will make it to the top. And when they get there... Guess what? They will see another mountain far off into the distance that's ten fucking times spend ten fucking times bigger than the little hill they just climbed that they thought was so big. And the one with courage will say, "Fuck it, this one wasn't even that bad. I'm gonna go make that huge one over there, my little bitch." That's what courage is. Keep going when you're supposed to fail, when you're supposed to be nothing, when you're destined for destined for defeat and headed nowhere. There, there's when there's no chance that you can do it. You're, you know, you aren't meant for this, or you don't, you don't fucking deserve this. Fuck that shit. Who says that? Who says that? Who says all that stuff? Who the fuck says? Well, Steve says you fucking can. You know, fuck all the negative naysayers and, and evildoers out there that are out there to drag you down and we talk about all the time. With courage, any of that shit is possible to overcome and dominate. So now I need my third word. Who's going to get me my third word? Don't cheat if you, if, if you're, Marines shouldn't be giving the answer because they know it. We had honor. We had courage. What's my third word? Third word, quick hint is the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or an activity, a pledge or an undertaking. That is our definition of our third word. Look down here. We got anyone down here? Anyone up here that has it? We got two feeds going at the same time. Honor, courage, and commitment. There it is. Those are the three Marine Corps values. Honor, courage, and commitment. Discipline is in there too. That's obviously falls right in there. So commitment, like I said, is the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity, a pledge, or an undertaking. And... Other ways you could look at it, like I said, is a pledge or engagement, a promise, a responsibility. A commitment is a responsibility. So, no, so now you have honored yourself and others. You've built you know, the courage to plow forward into the mouth of the unbeatable fucking devil. But now you need to maintain your commitment and to make it, a re make it all a reality. Dedication and consistency are the components of commitment. Staying committed with honor and courage, you are an unbeatable fucking freak monster. So how can some little crab or your enemy or a fucking competitor or an adversary or some slimy snake backstabbing motherfucker or fucking hater, who, how can they even have a chance to slow you down when, when, when even death can't fucking defeat you? Death cannot beat a Marine. A Marine cannot die. Death will not, death, Marines don't lose from death. With honor, courage, and commitment, you are, you are in fucking vincible. You know, Marines are held to the higher standards of honor, courage, and commitment. The core values of the Marines, they define, define how every Marine Corps, everyone in the Marine Corps thinks, acts, and fights, and fucking operates every fucking second of every motherfucking second. Throughout, through, you know, through the battlefields, they have confidence in themselves and each other, in the chaos and the battle, is when their character and the honor, courage, and commitment comes out. So, now we got that out of the way. Who can tell me what the Marine Corps motto is? Who can tell me the Marine Corps motto? You got three seconds. This is an easy one. The Marines is a joke. You can even tell me in two different... Marines can tell me this in two different languages if they wanted to. Who can tell me the Marine Corps motto? Anyone. Who knows it? Who knows it? Got three seconds. This is an easy one. Come on. Anyone's got it? Anyone's got it? And every Marine... There is a relentless fighting spirit, 
Semper Fidelis is one language. What's in English? What is that in English? Do you even know what it is? It's Semper, not Sender. Sender Fidelis. Semper Fidelis, yes. But do you know what that is in English? Can you know the translation? Auto, 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 whatever. Yes, Semper Fidelis, but do we know what the translation is? Google that shit. Google that shit. You got three seconds to Google that shit. While I go on, you can go Google that and I'll tell you what it is. Inside every Marine is a relentless fighting spirit. It stands up for others. It overcomes obstacles, both physical and mental, and it does not quit until the battle is freaking won. Yes, always faithful is what Semper Fidelis is. Always faithful. So once you reach some level of mental and physical success, you pay it forward to helping those around you. Helping those who can't fucking help themselves. It's your duty, your mission, your, your freaking obligation to start paying it forward and helping other people. And, you know, that's what, to me, what always being faithful is and always giving back to it of what you learn and what you have accomplished and what has been taught to you or drilled into you. That's part of what always, always faithful means. So, to recap it, we had the honor, courage, and commitment. We had two guys from Orange Rockland that almost saw their maker... Then we had always being always faithful. So think about everything we just talked about. If you can implement this into your mindset and your daily life, you'll be a better worker. You're going to lose more weight. You're going to be healthier. You're going to have a, a smoother, easier life. You're going to be more positive influence to the civilians around you. And most important of all, you're just going to be a better fucking version of you every single day. This is basically the ultimate level of of Peak Freak Personal Development Marine Corps style in honor of September 11th. That's it for now. If you guys have any comments or whatever, you can put them into the comment section. I'll get back to you guys later. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'm going to go look out the window.